You know, when I was a kid, we had an objective way to measure growth. There was a wall in the kitchen, and my dad would just measure us. And so we knew how much we'd grown in a certain amount of time. I want to suggest to you, there's a similarly, there's a way we can objectively measure our spiritual growth. In Genesis chapter 22, God says to Isaac, take now your son, your only son, whom you love, Isaac, and go to the land of Moriah and offer him there as a burnt offering on one of the mountains of which I will tell you. Two things to note is Abraham's only son, and it's the son he loves. Isaac was to be the seed through whom all the descendants came. It's a hard call, but, but Abraham follows through and he puts him on the altar. And in verse 12, he's about to bring the knife down and the angel steps in and says, Stop. I now know that you trust me and that you wouldn't hold back your son Isaac from me. And there we have an objective way to measure our faith. Abraham showed his faith by obeying God in something that was hard, offering his son Isaac. You know, God in our faith journey is going to call us to turn loose of things that are valuable to us. Maybe it's a boyfriend, maybe it's a girlfriend, maybe it's a job, maybe it's our popularity. And God calls us to turn loose of those things. And like Abraham, we might say, ah, I don't think I can. What do we do in those situations? First, we pray, Jesus, I need you to strengthen me. I need the faith you showed in going to the cross to empower me to turn this loose. Second, get with a friend. Ask him, I've reached this point in my faith journey. Would you pray for me? So two things I want you to do. Identify what are those things that you're holding back from God. Ask God, to, Jesus, to strengthen you to let him go. Two, talk to a friend. Ask him to pray for you. I trust that we'll be people who are growing in our faith and it would show in our obedience to God.